Hi, this is Mobile Network Comparison and welcome to our first look at the new beta of Aviate, a replacement launcher for Android. The main trademark feature of Aviate is a simple phone layout based upon flat design aesthetics and looking quite similar to Google Now. Its main selling point is as an intelligent launcher that reacts and adapts to your daily life. So, for example, in the morning, it will wake you up with all the tasks you have to do at the beginning of the day. When you're at work, it will give you quick access to your appointments and all the apps you need to get stuff done. And it will even recognise when you've gone to a restaurant or to a coffee shop. But let's actually try it out and see how well it works. We managed to get hold of one of the limited invites to give us access to the beta version and have been using it as our launcher for a while now. The main screen is the home screen that gives you access to some of your apps. It's got some widgets like weather and lets you set alarms and set yourself to be do not disturb and also change an image. And at the bottom of every home screen there's um, some of your most regularly used apps. Uh, it's quite easy to go ahead and add widgets to whatever screen you want but some of them don't look so good on the screen and you might prefer your current home screen setup to what AV8 gives you. Luckily it's quite straightforward to rearrange the widgets and to delete them if you want to, although they're quite limited in the size that AV8 allows you to have. The other major screen is the work screen that gives you lots of apps related to your work as well as your calendar appointments by default and of course you can customise this like all the other home screens by adding other apps from your collections to it. The collections are groupings of apps that um, are organised according to the type of app they are. So for example we have news apps, we have apps you want to use in the morning, there's things related to networking, there's things related to travelling, there's things related to being outdoors, there's things related to social, music and of course the work and home apps. And these are automatically grouped by the launcher itself. It also recommends you new apps for each of the different categories and this seems to be one of the fortes of AV8 and pretty much its most useful feature. We did have some difficulties trying to get apps where we wanted them so for example when you're trying to drag an app across to your home screen or to a particular collection it doesn't automatically scroll sometimes and you have to do it in one or two movements to actually get it across. Some of the automatic groupings and suggestions are also downright odd. However, we did like the going somewhere screen that makes planning trips really, really simple. Overall though, it doesn't really feel like it's realising the full potential of a context-aware, intelligent home screen. Understandably, it's probably a little buggy at the moment, but it kept coming up with problems like thinking I was in a coffee shop when I was actually sitting at home. And as a result, all the little kinks do need to be ironed out before this is released in the final version. Other little niggles include having each symbol and number considered separately on the alphabetical list of apps. And overall it just feels a little bit dumbed down, probably not for power users or people like us who love to customise every single aspect of their phone's launcher. Hopefully though, we'll see AV8 get smarter in the future and we're really interested to see how future versions will work out. If you'd like to try out AV8 for yourself, we've still got some invites to give away to the first five people to tweet about this video and then comment below. Thanks for listening.